YouTube, how the fuck you doing? Hey guys, um, Nate Shot back here, and I have a. Uh, this was my first game of the day, but I'm not gonna call it Morning Wood. I'm just gonna name it Sniper something. But I wanted to use this time to just touch base on a lot of things. Uh, of course, you guys know that my Days Hodge came out yesterday, and you know I got a warm reception from all of you, and I appreciate it. I know uh, that that black bar was covering the XP bar, but the the editor that I had is a Halo editor, so he's used to cropping that out anyways. I promise you none of that was fake. It was all in free-for-all public matches. And I, I would never stage a montage, ever. You know, I, I to be honest, I don't have to, but some people were still suggesting it. I, I swear I didn't, but that's besides the fact. Um, I wanted to kind of conclude the the story behind my mom and my family and everything like that you guys probably you guys made me f i can't even explain how awesome i felt after reading all your comments all of your messages and it really meant a lot to me i i never thought in a million years i would get that sort of welcoming and reception from just random strangers and to be honest i don't see you guys as strangers anymore like all my subscribers I appreciate every single one and everything that you guys have done just by watching my videos, sending me messages, following me on Twitter, things like that. It means the world to me. But I just wanted to give you guys some insight, maybe some like closing thoughts about the matter. Um, my family is somewhat close. We're all, we, we all get along. So that's, that's not the problem. Uh, my sister, when she graduated high school... Uh, she got married with her boyfriend. She, now she's going to college, so she moved out. And then it was just my brother, my dad, uh, my mom, and myself. And we live fairly close to my grandparents, about like five-minute drive. Not even a five-minute drive, like two minutes tops. So uh, they were always there for me. So I, it's not like I, I didn't have like the family support. I, my grandparents, you know, they did everything for me. They were the nicest, the nicest people. A lot of you probably have the same thing. Grandparents are some of the most loving uh, people in your life, to be honest. Well, that was for my situation. Um, my brother and my dad, uh, we all always got along for the most part. We, there's never really fights. We all kind of have like the same personality, if you want to think of it like that. Uh, my family is, me and my, my brother and my dad and myself, sorry, I keep saying my family, but we're pretty big on golf, so that's always something we did together. You know, go out there and uh, have a good time. Just talk, not talk about our feelings. That's 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 not what guys do. <laughs> but um, you know, we we're just always kind of read each other's minds. Like, uh, yeah, we know we're all going through the same thing here. But as I grew up, I kind of just, you know, it's something that you just deal with. I mean, it's not that I don't have a mom. I I shouldn't have said that that one time, but. It's just you don't know who to expect, so that sometimes it gets hard, and it's like you don't know what you're going to do, but you kind of just get through it. You know, your family, like you're, it's, it's not something that you can run away from. It's not something you want to run away from. It's you just got to get by. Like I still have a good relationship with my mom for the most part. It's just those, those weeks that she's kind of out of it or off because of all the medicine changes and everything like that, I tend to just stay up in my room and play Xbox. Uh, video games were kind of a, a kind of a release for me. Like, to be honest, I wasn't that big of going out to parties in high school. It's not that I didn't have a lot of friends, which I didn't. I, I kept a small group. That's what I enjoy. I, a lot of people like to go out to parties and stuff like that. I don't. I mean, occasionally, you know, let loose and stuff like that. But I enjoyed staying in and playing Xbox and watching movies by myself on Zoom. I don't know. I, I kind of just stuck to myself. I was really close with my brother. So when he moved out to go to college, you know, that, that kind of took some getting used to. But uh, my job at McDonald's, how shitty it was, I, I met a lot of cool people there. And they kind of helped me out, get out of my social shell and just meet a lot of people and be more comfortable around people. I never thought of it as a problem, but I, I guess you could say. I wasn't socially awkward, but I didn't have too many friends. I, it's hard to explain. I think we're going to talk about this more, the social part. But, you know, I just want you guys to know, I appreciate all of your messages. Uh, my family's still really close. We love each other. And I think that's all that matters. Uh, I'm going to touch more on this in my next commentary. I kind of ran out of time, but uh, YouTube, we'll see if I can later.